We've all watched a movie scene where a dying person has their entire life flash before their eyes. It might look comforting to relive all those moments before you take your last breath, but do these memory flashbacks actually happen in real life? It turns out that there may be a scientific reason for this near-death experience. What happens to our brains as we're about to die has always been puzzling to neuroscientists, but an accidental discovery has allowed them to further explore some of their speculations. It all happened when an 87-year-old man was admitted to a hospital in Vancouver, Canada after experiencing epilepsy seizures. A team of doctors used electroencephalography, or EEG, to monitor his brain activity and prevent the seizures from coming back. Sadly, the patient had a heart attack in the middle of the observation and passed away. But this unfortunate coincidence led to the first recording of a dying human brain. The EEG was able to record 900 seconds of brain activity before and after the patient's death. But the 30 seconds that were recorded before and after the patient's heart stopped beating showed brainwaves that normally only happen to a healthy human brain. These brainwaves, called oscillations, were identical to what an EEG would pick up if we were dreaming, recalling a memory, or meditating. Further investigations led the scientists to believe that those oscillations could be our brain's way of attempting to recall our most important life events one last time before we die. This accidental discovery may pave the way to discover when life exactly ends and when to declare the time of death. It also helps answer ethical issues such as the right timing for organ donation. Earlier research showed that the last region in the brain to shut down in a near-death experience is the memory center, which could explain why the brain begins quickly recapping some of the most emotional memories we experience in our lifetime. Some neuroscientists, however, are skeptical of near-death experiences and believe those flashbacks are false memories. Their argument is that memories are not stored away in a pristine condition inside of a safe box in our brains that we can retrieve in the exact same condition. Instead, they say memories are just faint traces and clues that our brains retain, and in a near-death experience, the brain is far from its ideal condition. In its fight for survival, a resource-deprived brain will put together a chaotic mix of memory traces that will seem like a coherent replay of life events. Nevertheless, the data of this experience alone is not enough to draw conclusions. Scientists are still seeking to record an EEG at the time of death, but so far, no other case has presented enough data for scientists to publish any progress or new discovery. Science and spirituality have always been separated by the thin veil of humanity's most puzzling mystery. What happens after we die? Scientists believe that answering some of the speculations about our fate at the time of death can help people find comfort and closure at the time of death of a loved one. What do you think happens to our brains after we die? And do you think our consciousness is transcendent? Share your thoughts in the comment section.